Shotguns have always been pretty handy in Destiny 2, whether in PvP or PvE. To Bungie, they gave some love to the slug shotgun archetype for the start of Season of Arrival, so I wanted to let you know about one of the better shotguns in that class, so you can dish out the damage in style. So the following is a guide for how to get the chaperone in Destiny 2. And don't forget, if you're new round here, hit that subscribe button to get all the latest Destiny 2 content. The Chaperone isn't a new shotgun, in fact it's been around since Season 4 in Destiny 2. However, now with the buff to slug shotguns, Bungie has made them much more viable in the sandbox. In update 2.9.0, Bungie buffs slug shotguns by saying, slug shotgun PvE damage has been improved by 30%. So that's a pretty good increase and it's going to make these shotguns a very valuable part of your arsenal in PvE in Destiny 2. So let's have a look at the quest steps in a little more detail on how to get the chaperone. So the first step of this quest is to get the Pursuit Holiday Family History. And this is a random reward from any activity or bounty completion. So keep playing the game and it will drop for you and it will be available in the quest tab. Some have reported it from Crucible match completions, some from other activities, but keep playing the game and it will drop for you. Next up we want to visit Amanda Holiday. So once you've got the Holiday Family History quest, it's time to go over and visit Amanda in the tower. So she's in the hangar, hanging out there, tinkering with all the ships. So have a chat with her and it's on to the next step of the quest. So next up we need to get 20 shotgun kills in Crucible. And this one is fairly self-explanatory, just get 20 shotgun kills whilst playing Crucible matches. If you don't like PvP, then try and get as close as you can to your opponents and get those one-shot kills. Take your time, practice, and then the kills will come. Once you've got 20, it's on to the next step of the quest. So next up, you have to get Arc, Solar, and Void kills in Crucible. So you can either use weapons here in your energy and power slots, or you can use your class abilities and supers. So to make this a little bit more efficient, I'd have a different element type on my class and my weapons. So I'd be getting one type of kill with a guardian and another type of kill with a weapon. So try not to get killed too much as deaths are going to slow your progress on this one. And once you have the kills, then it's time to move on to the next step of the quest. So for the next step of the quest, you need to get 15 invasion kills in Gambit. So this can be when killing when you're invading or when they're invading you. So good weapons for this include Xenophage or a good sniper. So keep an eye on the portal activity and when it becomes available, jump on in there and start taking out guardians. Once you've done 15, then it's time to go and pick up your new weapon. So head back to the tower, go and see Amanda in the hangar, and the final step of this quest is to pick up the chaperone from Amanda. So congrats, you are now the proud owner of an exotic slug shotgun. You did it. You won the Crucible contest. And I asked the folks at Tex Mechanica if I could give you your prize myself. So, here it is. Shotgun by the name of the Chaperone. Treat her right, and she'll treat you right. So let's take a look at the Chaperone in a little bit more detail. So the Chaperone is an exotic slug shotgun with a couple of nice exotic perks, including precision slug, when that fires a single slug precision round. Also, there's the Roadborne, where precision kills briefly grant bonus handling and precision damage with this weapon. Stats on the Chaperone are pretty great too, so it's got 100 for range, 75 for impact, so it's going to hit nice and hard. It's also got great handling at 82. 70 rounds per minute shotgun with 6 in the magazine. So once you've got this shotgun, get out there in your favourite activity and dish out some damage. So this is a great weapon in all modes of the game, but given that 30% buff from Bungie in Season of Arrivals, then it's definitely going to be really, really good in PvE. And it makes slug shotguns much more viable. We've also got the Blasphemer, Good Bone Structure and Ganora's Axe as well to name a few, but the Chaperone as well as being one of the finest looking guns in the game with that Old West Tex Mechanica style, it's also really dangerous and it's going to be a great addition to your loadout this season and beyond. Let me know down in the comments how you're getting on with the Chaperone, what do you think of the quest and what do you think of that buff in PvE? Well that's it for this guide on how to get the chaperone and thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to be notified next time I upload then hit that bell button too. To join the community check out the Discord link in the description or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. 
If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out these other videos on the channel. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon. There's our way through. What has happened?